Hi, I'm Sean Williams, and I'm uh, the developer of CDF Goldship, and I'm here to take you through the beginner's guide, uh, or getting started. So, we're going to try and cut to the chase and skip the intro. Um, I'll put this in nightmare mode, a mode you shouldn't really try. If you are new to this game, you should try easy mode. Um, or if, if you feel like a bit of a challenge, try normal mode. Or if you want a real challenge, try nightmare mode. Warning, the Goliath is declared uninhabitable. Evacuate the ship. I'll skip the in-game tips for now, but if you're new to this, again, you need to read them. That's what we're there for. And in 1.6, there's uh, even more tips. So the first thing you need to do is get some pistols. There's two pistols here. In nightmare mode you get action straight away. The first thing we're going to do is pick up an SMG, which is found over here. There's uh, quite a few lying about if you know where to find them. But that's the first one you can get. And then we go to deck 3. The zombies only die with headshots, so be sure you're, you're accurate. Watch out for the words. So there's a medikit there if you need one. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll get that medikit. And then there's also some ammo here for your, your pistol. The bottom right shows you how many clips you've got. It shows you on your weapon how many rounds are loaded. Compartment pressurizing. Compartment pressurized. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a cough at the minute, a bit of a cold. Oh, crack on. So the tentacles aren't dangerous unless they, uh, they get close to them. You can use a bit of plasma fire to kill them. Or you can just run straight past them. And also be sure to look around for weapons, there's another SMG there. By the way, some weapons have lights on, and some weapons don't. Laser pistols, like this one, are, are red. So they can have a red display. Alert! Lighting failure. Shipwide lighting failure is due to anomaly in Fusion Core 1. You must proceed to engineering via the main access quarter, so we can get the lighting grid back online. Be careful, Commander. And there's a... Uh, Reach it out. No way. So always be sure to look around everywhere. I think it's random. That's a large medikit. We'll get that. And then when you get a large medikit, it's like an extra layer of health. It doubles your health, so you get a yellow layer on top of that. So we've got a plasma pistol there. Uh, a zombie. Again, you have to be quite accurate with your headshots. Just a few shots to the head and they'll uh, be dead. And then over here the is uh, some more plasma rounds. But your plasma pistol hasn't got a light on, so we'll uh, get out a weapon with a light on. For now. Yeah, go down here, there's a laser rifle. Laser rifle's a lot more powerful. And it's uh, self-charging. So the worms just run away to a safe distance and take them out from a distance.
Oh, let me get close. So on this, if you don't know what you're meant to be doing, you press O for your objectives. So let's get to the bridge. But before we can do that, we need to access the main frame, as we said. So we need to go through the main access corridor. There's also maps in every deck. And we can locate whereabouts we are. So we're at the stairs. And we can see where we need to go. And there's also signs everywhere as well. <coughs> Sorry for the, the cough. Try it, bro. So now we used to see a map of a ship, and that's the actual map of all the decks in the ship. It's a really big ship. Proceed to engineer. Follow the signs on the wall. Be careful, Commander. Numerous alien life forms detected in the main access corridor. So since you come into the main access corridor, if you haven't got a laser rifle, there's uh, one there. Laser rifles are quite essential. There's also an SMG there. Laser rifle's got a torch on, uh, or a tack light, so it's really helpful. Again, the worms and leeches don't do that much damage, but they are uh, the best. They are quick. Take them out from the distance. And a lot of infected only die with headshots. There's also some more ammunition there for the plasma pistol. So on it's more meant to be going to engineering, so follow the signs. There's uh, signs all the way down the corridor. <coughs> this corridor links all the main sections of the ship. It's also better if you crouch and aim, you're more accurate. I'm with some goodies, there's a shield there, which is essential, absorbs a lot of damage. We want to do the carry there, there's a large med kit, so we can stock up on health, and another SMG if you haven't got one. Look everywhere. And we're going to take time to study the layout of the ship. We're now at the back end of the ship. It's all colour coded, so all the sections green and engineering. This is engineering, deck 3. Fusion reactor 1 is located. <coughs> Proceed to fusion reactor 1 and find the control room. Extreme caution is advised. So Multiple off. alien life forms detected. As soon as you come into engineering on this random start, there's a uh, plasma rifle there, which also has a light on, so it's quite handy in here, and it packs a bit of punch. Quite accurate, it's good at medium range. Watch out for all three months. And in nightmare mode you'll uh, need your plasma rifle. Again this is a random start, the games are quite random so you might not have gone through this particular part but I'm sure you'll get the idea. 
<coughs> so again if we check our objectives we've got a few of me up to one again you can follow the signs um, you can also explore there's a lot of stuff about but you've also got to be careful so if we have a look at Stone Room A everything's got real physics so you can shoot stuff Out for the green ones. So we've got a lot of uh, ammunition down here, with a few weapons, and a large red kit. Take the time to reload some of our weapons. We need to go to the control room, which is go up on our objectives, which is up here. Please enable the automated power distribution system on the console commander. So if we automated use power distribution system now in effect. Use this console. I now have full control over all power systems and subsystems. Resetting lighting grid. Lighting grid reset. Lighting is now back online. Well done, commander. Please proceed back to the main access quarter so you can gain access to the bridge and operations. Alright now, we've got to go back to operations. The main access corridor. Now all the lights are on, we can use our SMG. Because it hasn't got a tap light on, it's not really good in the dark, but it's uh, quite good at close range. And the lights are on. So we'll uh, quickly head back. The main access corridor. Compartment pressurized. Access or right. Remote access terminal from the main access corridor and disengage the lockdown. <coughs> Just uh, apologize for me, cough. Oh. Oops, wrong. Shield, because we could do with it. If we head back to operations, but first we'll actually got to activate a rat, use a rat in the main access corridor. So we use that and lock the door to the bridge. Let's get out of here, save some ammunition. Pressurized. So now we've got to go to deck one. We're currently on deck three. Signs everywhere. What's more though? The SMG has got quite a lot of spread, it's not that good at medium to long range, it's good at short range. Alright, so we'll use the stairs. So we need to go up to deck one. Mm 
Don't get any chance. Swap your weapon with a sack light on. You need to see in the dark. By the time we get to the bridge, if he hasn't got an SMG, there's one more. Oh, there's a. Uh, bumps. Watch out for the bugs. Yeah, it's also a good idea to dodge them. Otherwise, you must get hit. Close, we need to get a bit of distance. So I think we head up to the bridge. That may well can be a bit uh, tricky. If you need a med kit, you can always uh, get them from here. Plasma rifle, if you haven't got one by now, you get one here. Unlock the bridge. Lockdown disengaging. All functional doors are now active in operations. Personnel, cargo hold and engineering. You can also listen to the captain's logs, but for now we're just gonna crack on with the, the guide. I need to talk to you, Commander, in person. Please come and see me on deck two. Operations. Time is of the essence. Sentinels, they're uh, big bugs, take quite a bit of damage. Get okay, low on ammo and ammo. Look at that med kit. I'm not sure if we got a shield before, did we? No, we didn't uh, get a shield, no. We got one on the way up to the bridge, but. I think we already had one. So, so now as we told us to uh, go and speak to her, we command HQ, which is on deck two.
And again, it's always better to crouch, you know. The crawlers, a bit more accuracy. Not the firing range. There's a bit more ammunition. Get your plasma rifle. I'm going to get a battle rifle on deck 5, no collision, get some more ammunition for it there. There's also data foils everywhere which give you some advice and different tips about the game. So we'll quickly look at the map and we've got to get to Command HQ, which is just here. CDF Goliath, Commander Thomas, unfortunately not in the best circumstances. While you were gone, Commander, the ship and crew have been infected by an alien infection. Almost all the crew are dead, and the handful of surviving crew are infected. Trust nobody, Commander. You are the only crew member who is not infected, and we need to keep it that way. If you are to escape this ship, we must get the CDF Goliath back to full operational capacity in order to get you back to Earth, Commander. The alien infection causes a huge threat to the Colonial Defense Force, as I am sure you are aware. We need to study and combat this alien infection as it poses the biggest threat the CDF has ever encountered. We are currently in the decaying orbit. In four hours' time, the CDF Goliath will enter the atmosphere of Icarus 3. It is extremely unlikely that this ship will survive re-entry. We must get the navigation thrusters back online in order to break free of our decaying orbit. Your first objective is to head to engineering. Deck 2. You need to locate the engine control room. Once you arrive at Deck 2, Engineering. Please be aware this ship is very dangerous and aliens and infected crew are everywhere. Please come and see me whenever you need any advice or information. Good luck and be careful, Commander. <coughs> mm -hmm. So that's our first objective of me, but we also need to get access to the armory. That's one of your first crucial tasks. Who the fuck are you? I thought everyone was dead. Wait, you're infected, aren't you? Well, there's no way I'm letting you in here. I'm safe in here, and of all the weapons I need, if you want some of them, you're gonna have to earn my trust. Give me some antibiotics from medical on deck four, and I might let you in. Hurry, though. My leg's infected, and it's getting worse. So, our first objective is, uh,. First survivor is for Elliot. If you run out of medical from deck 4, you'll get some antibiotics. And I suggest you do this task first to get access to the armory, because that's your central point for ammunition in the game. There is bits of ammunition spread around, but it's quite hard to find. And you can stock up any time in the army when you get access. So that's the end of uh, this getting started guide. Hope you have lots of fun. The game starts from here basically.